Welcome back. It's been exactly one year since a powerful tornado through tore through parts of mid-Missouri. Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe joins us live tonight from the state capitol in Jefferson City to talk about the recovery process. And Lieutenant Governor, can you walk us through what the recovery has looked like from your position at the capitol? Well, sure. Uh, first of all, it's uh, been an emotional day, both uh, uh, remembering the tornado from last year and then watching how this community has just absolutely rebounded to uh, just terrific measures. Uh, things are going well. It takes a while to rebuild after a thing like a tornado, especially when you have an EF3. Uh, many businesses are either partially or totally rebuilt now. Some are just starting that process. Uh, Special Olympics, which was hit very hard, their Training for Life campus is getting close to reopening. So uh, homes, residences are getting rebuilt. Uh, people are moving along, are coming together, and uh, I think the recovery efforts are going very well. Yeah, that's definitely a good thing. Uh, what else do you think still needs to be done in terms of recovery, and how has the, the pandemic kind of slowed things down? Well, sure. We were at a Habitat for Humanity house this morning, and uh, there's an example where volunteers want to come and help build homes, and specifically our Habitat chapter is building homes for uh, families that were affected by the tornado where they lost their home. Uh, but volunteers showing up and, uh, you know, the social distancing and making sure you have uh, personal protective equipment on as you're working on some of those houses kind of slows things down. But, you know, we're a great community and a great state that learns how to adapt to those challenges. And uh, they're figuring things out so that people can help with some of the rebuilding process through the COVID virus and do it safely. Right. And what has the state been doing to prepare if another tornado like this were to hit right now? Well, you know, our uh, state emergency management agency is probably one of the best in the United States. Uh, we have fantastic people who uh, understand how to work in emergencies. I can tell you that when we had the tornado last year, if it wasn't for SEMA, our state emergency management agency deploying their resources and working with our local officials hand in glove, uh, we would have never been able to get through it. And they stand ready all the time. That's what organizations like our Department of Public Safety do and SEMA does for the state and for its citizens. They're ready for one of these things. Unfortunately, should something like this hit again, they're ready in minutes notice. And uh, I'm very impressed with how uh, State Emergency Management Agency works through this and other disasters we've had in the last few years. Yeah, it was pretty incredible that night that no lives were lost. And of course, the response was super swift. I know just talking just from my perspective, talking to local emergency management and how they kind of use the Joplin tornado as an example of how quickly they responded and gated off the area. And can you talk a little bit about what it was like to have the tornado hit so close to home, Jefferson City being your hometown? Yeah, well, you, you know, many people say those things are horrible when they see them on TV. I'm glad it never happens close to me. And then when happens, one happens close to you, it's, it's a real wake-up call. I can tell you our emergency operations center here, our joint uh, our emergency EOC center, was open by 2 a.m. The tornado hit around 11.30 p.m. Uh, we had people already in emergency operations center at 2 o'clock. They were going. They were deploying the resources. Uh, our police and fire, uh, as well as our highway patrol, uh, they were doing what they're trained to do. And it's so important uh, for those agencies to have that training and have that knowledge so when something like this hits, they're ready to go. They didn't miss a beat. I've never seen uh, such a well-organized machine as I saw what happened in the Jefferson City community with the, with the cooperation between the city and the county and the state resources. It was, uh, it was amazing, and uh, I would tell you it was quite humbling to, to witness how, how well they were ready and prepared to come into an emergency situation like that. Yeah, we're happy about those continuing, ongoing uh, recovery efforts. We want to thank you for your time, Lieutenant Governor. And you can join us later this evening for an ABC 17 News special, Rebuilding Mid-Missouri One Year Later. Hear the stories of recovery from Eldon and Jefferson City and find out if Mid-Missouri is ready for another tornado 